Greetings and good tidings, Lafayette Lions. It's Ms. Brady here, and today we are going to be reviewing some of the challenges, changes, help, and new people that were part of the Jamestown Colony. The colonists faced a lot of hardships, which are challenges, when they first arrived in Jamestown. These challenges made it very difficult for them to survive. The first challenge that they faced was that the land at the site that they chose was marshy, which means it was really wet like a swamp, so it wasn't good for growing crops, and it had a lot of insects like mosquitoes that would carry diseases, and it lacked safe drinking water. That drinking water was making them really sick, but that was one of the reasons that they chose the site for Jamestown. They also had a drought, which means that there was not a lot of rain when they settled, and this reduced the amount of food that was available because the plants that were around were dying. The settlers also lacked some of those necessary skills that they needed to be able to provide for themselves. They were gentlemen in England, so they weren't quite sure how to farm, how to build shelters, or how to hunt. Because of this, a lot of settlers ended up dying from starvation because they didn't know how to grow the food and the drought was making it difficult for plants to grow and from diseases that could have been from the insects from that marshy land. Luckily, they were able to make some changes that helped them to survive. The first change was new ships arriving that brought supplies and more settlers. So they had more supplies and more people to help them. Captain John Smith came along and he created a forced work program where he said, if you don't work, you don't eat. So that really motivated the colonists to learn a skill and to help out in the colony. They also created new settlements away from the unhealthy environment of Jamestown. And they started to have an emphasis on agriculture, which means that you're farming or living off of the land. The Powhatan Indians really helped the survival of Jamestown. Captain John Smith developed a, he initiated a trading relationship with the native peoples. The native peoples traded items such as fur, leather, and food. These are some of the local crops that they would have grown to the English. The English traded copper, pots, and tools to the native peoples. Chief Powhatan was the leader of many Native American tribes, and he provided a lot of leadership to his peoples. Chief Powhatan and his people also taught the English settlers survival skills. They taught them how to farm, they taught them how to hunt, and they helped them with building shelters. And the Native Americans also taught the settlers how to farm and harvest tobacco. Pocahontas was the daughter of Chief Powhatan, and she served as the contact between Native Americans and the English settlers that were at Jamestown. Over time, the Native people started to realize that the English settlement would continue to grow, and what started as a really friendly relationship started to sour because they came to see the settlers as invaders who were going to be taking over the land. The native peoples felt that the land was everybody's and should be shared, but the settlers felt that they had a right to claim the land, and this created a conflict. There were some new people who arrived in Jamestown that also helped with the survival of this colony. In 1619, the first Africans arrived against their will. This means that they did not want to come to Virginia. Portuguese sailors captured African men and women from what was, is now present-day Angola. We aren't sure if these first Africans were treated as slaves or indentured servants. However, we do know that the arrival of Africans made it possible to expand the tobacco economy. In 1620, women arrived in the Jamestown colony. 
The arrival of additional women made it possible for the settlers to start establishing families and create a permanent colony in Virginia. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for reviewing these topics with me today. Be sure to look over your review pages on the next part of your canvas and then take your time and do your best on your quiz today. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great day.